How do I connect related ideas in my writing and make my essay flow together? In this lesson, you will learn how to connect related ideas by using transition words. Let's review. We're responding to a writing prompt. We've identified the question and type of writing, a persuasive letter. We've planned our response. We've just finished writing our response, and now we're in the revision stage. We're revising our response at this point. So far, we've written a persuasive letter. We've written an opening, three body paragraphs for each of the three reasons we came up with, and a closing paragraph. So we've done all the writing we can at this point. Here's the opening paragraph. Here's the first body paragraph. Here's the second body paragraph. And the third body paragraph. And the closing paragraph. We're now going to try to connect related ideas in these paragraphs. A common mistake when writing is writing a paragraph where one idea jumps to the next. In one sentence, the subject might be the zoo. The next sentence could be a movie about lions. How do they connect to each other? Ideas need to be connected so that sentences can flow from one to the next. To connect ideas in a paragraph, first, reread your supporting details. Next, look for places when you jump from one detail to the next. Finally, Use transition words to connect ideas. So first we'll reread our supporting details. Let's use this paragraph. Recess shouldn't be stopped because children need exercise to stay healthy. Children need to build up their bodies as they grow. For many children in this school, recess is the only time they have for exercise. If we are unhealthy, we can't focus on our learning. To keep our children healthy, we need to keep recess. Now, as I was reading, I heard different places where ideas jump from one to the next. So the next step is to identify those jumps. Here's the paragraph again. I think between the second sentence and the third sentence is a bit of a jump. It doesn't sound right there. Also, where it says exercise and if we are unhealthy, that needs a, some sort of transition or connection there as well. And I heard one last one. Where was it? Oh, right there at the end. That last sentence has to be tied to the paragraph somehow. So I found my three places where ideas jump. Now I need to fix them. And to fix them, I'm going to use transition words. Now I have another number of transition words I could choose from. If I wanted to add ideas, I'd use words like in addition, also, or besides. If I wanted to end a thought or conclude, I'd use words like therefore, in conclusion, or finally. These are just examples. There are many other transition words. Here, I chose to use three different transition words to connect the ideas. In the third sentence, I used the word also to connect the second and third ideas together. In the sentence where it says if we are unhealthy, I put furthermore to connect that sentence to the previous sentence. Lastly, if you look at the very end, I use the word thus to connect the uh, last sentence to the rest of the paragraph. Let's read it again now. Recess shouldn't be stopped because children need exercise to stay healthy children need to build up their bodies as they grow. Also, for many children in this school, recess is the only time they have for exercise. Furthermore, if we are unhealthy, we can't focus on our learning. Thus, to keep our children healthy, we need to keep recess. That flows a lot better, and you can see how the ideas flow from one to the next using the transition words. So remember, when you're connecting ideas in a paragraph, first reread your supporting details. Then look for places when you jump from one detail to the next. 
Use transition words to connect ideas. In this lesson, you have learned how to connect related ideas by using transition words.